In this tutorial, you'll learn the criteria we use for selecting images we find online, given the specifics of our laser cutter and its capabilities. When searching for an image to laser cut, you want to keep the following things in mind. We're looking specifically for black and white images only, no color. Clear dark lines, no sketches. We'd like our images that we find to have either a transparent or a solid color background. Silhouettes are great if you're looking for the shape to cut out. When searching for your image, some good words to include are cartoon vector, silhouette, black and white, line drawing. Here's an example of some usable images that you can find online. Take, for instance, the flowers. It's clear, crisp lines that we could use for engraving. The baseball mitt not only has detailed lines inside, but has that um, thick black border around the outside of it that's a continuous line, so we could cut that out. The cat as a silhouette is great. There's not a lot of details inside, so this would just be for cutting out the shape. Here are some not great images that you could find online that are not awesome and, and don't work very well for our laser cutter. The bicycle and the dog are photographs. There are also colors. The moon is a sketch. Looks like it was done in pencil. If that had been inked or there were less uh, lines, um, kind of sketchy lines, it might work, but as it is now, it will not work. Here's an example of what your final design in Gravit would look like on the left and what they come out when we laser cut them. What's really important to notice is the design on the left is black or has some color in it and has a red outline. When the laser cutter looks at that, it sees the red and knows to cut out that the red line and the black it knows to engrave. The magenta or kind of purpley color on the flowers were, were also an engraving just at a different setting on our laser. So it's really important to think about what your final product will look like in your hand when you're designing and grab it. So let's start by finding some images online. I'm going to look up first the cat silhouette. And I'm going to go to my images tab. And what's important here when we're looking at silhouettes is unless you want, um, but usually you don't, you don't want kind of really rounded edges like this one. You want crisp defined edges um, like this one or this one. So let's go ahead and save this image. I'm going to uh, right click on it and save image as. I'm just going to name it cat. Know where you're saving it. I'm saving mine in my downloads. And you want to make sure I did it really quick, but if I do it again, you want to make sure that um, the file format it's being saved as is an image format. Um, so JPEG, PNG, um, but if it says WEP, W-E-P, um, that's a web page and we, we don't want, that's not an image, it won't work for us. Um, so let's, that was a silhouette. Let's look at, uh, let's do cars this time and let's do a vector. So a vector image, meaning it's maybe more cartoony. Um, this looks cool, but it's in color. And color doesn't work all that great. Um, this one might, so I will save it and we'll give it a try. And it's a JPEG image in a car. But I'm also going to look at a um, kind of an all black one. Now, when looking for an image too, you want to think, are you just, um, cut, are you looking to cut this out? Or maybe are you looking to engrave it? If you're looking to engrave it, something like this would be fine because you see how there's white around the wheel well? So if you were trying to cut this out, 
the wheel and the car would not be cut out together. The wheel would be cut out and then the car would be cut out because they're not touching. Anywhere that, where the black isn't touching would, would not be cut out um, or wouldn't be part of it. So, so this, if we were trying to cut out a car shape, wouldn't be great because the wheel and the car don't touch. So if I was looking to have a car cut out totally, um, something like this would be would work because there's an outline connecting the car shape. I'm looking on that outside shape, right? That would that would be easy to cut out. So I will save this one too, just to have a comparison. Okay. Now let's look up some line art. Let's do flowers line art. And again, if you're thinking about engraving, um, this you know these lines would would work and be just fine. Um, but if you're thinking about cutting something out, then you want really thick dark lines. Um, so this is great for an engraving, which is a burn into a material. Um, but if I wanted to cut something out, I want something more like like this because they're clear, dark lines. And this one has a, it's perfect. It's an outline all the way around. Um, but let's go with these. And we'll save them as flowers. And then the last one we'll check. So we've done line art. We've done vector. We've done silhouette. Let's look up. Um, a teddy bear, black and white. Now, um, you could also do black and white line art, um, but let's try this one. I like this because it has some detailing inside, so I can still cut out. You can see everything's connected. There's an outside connecting line, um, but there's details inside, and so I could cut this out as well as engrave it. So I'm going to save image as. And it's a PNG. So this is 